<laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. We must experiment. Oh, yeah. Oh, you bet, dude. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Having a tiny bit of a tough time here. There you go. Now I can see you, chat. Now I can see everything. You know, that's like something I need to experiment with a little bit, and I will. There's honestly a lot of things I need to do, but anyways. Red. Wait, wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, I need to uh, check my DMs. Give me a second. Why the hell are my latest DMs at the bottom? Hey, just watched your match. Good stuff. I was wondering, um, now that you officially have the part, any chance there's a, a role for your old pal Riley Flash? Like, like maybe if Stop clout a chasing, or, bud. Or even a bad guy with a foreign accent. Did I mention I can do accents? My dude, that's, that's worse than Jinder Mahal. Good, huh? Anyway, I'll be Get out of here. From you. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Haven't I blocked this number yet? Hi, have I reached the voicemail of Bryce Decker? I think we both know I have. <laughs> oh no, you've reached the fucking voicemail of Bubble Bass Mark. Action match, and you brought the passion, the intensity of your character to defeating the Miz. I knew in that moment we could have no one else in this role. We are going to build a beautiful addition to this franchise. Brick by brick, you and me, commitment and passion and soul. Oh, I, I don't know... What to say about the Miz, except I am. Are we gonna do a rank and file five or whatever the fuck separately. it is? Watch party chat. Look, call me. We have so much to discuss, so many production details, so many things to get rolling. Call me, call me, call me. We'll do it right after we finish watching ponies. <laughs> hey man, just wanted to say congrats on beating the Miz. Main character hey energy chat. When I first debuted in WWE 2, so it never gets old seeing him get knocked down a peg. Maybe we'll cross paths one of these days. <laughs> funny how we always seem to be on opposite shows. Yeah, anyway, funny that. Keep up the good work and look forward to seeing your movie when it comes out. Later. You know, come to think of it, I've never even seen one of your matches. You've been here for like, what? Two years now? I don't even know what your finisher is, dude. I don't know what you're about. We have a lot going on, but don't look past Charlotte. If you if you do, she'll take your title. You got this. Ric Flair. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hello. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Too late for me to pull I forgot that I may look like Nostalgia Critic. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for Rank and File 5. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. I just don't get rank and file five! And who knows, maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. How is it funny? You mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. His tie's floating, dude. Wait, that's it? Okay, cool. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were- Ah, uh, yeah, more ventriloquism. Me? I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. That sounds like, like a you problem. Everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. 
Oh uh, yeah, I can see it in your face. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> Not even close. I just love how she like juts back in place. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't Fucked have up a gravity. dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, beating me is not even on your list as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Woo! <laughs> the fucking ventriloquism woo. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. 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 We're here for the plot. We're not here to play filler matches, chat. We're here to see Samoa Joe with a robot arm. We're not leaving this chair until we see the robot arm. It's not happening. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so unlikable? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> Really? Because that's why are you so unlikable? It's like hanging something over someone's head when they were a teenager, dude. It's like you don't care about it anymore, but people don't let you forget it. I did not suck eggs in high school. Actually, yes, I did, but that doesn't matter in the current day. Pretty cool. That doesn't matter. Awesome. They really nailed the detail on your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get I've it. I've already got this enough more your my thing, tiny seahorses. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so... Oh, hey, you're in, uh, you're in a MAW now. Aren't I think ya? he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's like even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Why does Miro Sorry, look like he's gonna cry, dude? With a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. My favorite Happy part about this day. is that Lana like tried to like do a Russian thing Did in the beginning, but then she quit within one He's sentence. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Yeah, that's oh, right, we work yeah. in a wrestling promotion. I guess we could do that. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot, you cannot be playing this, not on my stream. You know what? Fuck it. Muting, muting you. Muting you. Muting you. We're not gonna be dealing with that bullshit. Not, not here. Not here, chat. But no, chat. There are a couple of different things. 
Rather, like, you know what? One more thing I want to do. I would like to finally update the Gitsy, rather the uh, Gitsy lineup. Because right now, uh, I'm thinking that what we have uh, right now in terms of what's in the rotation, I think it's getting a little bit stale. Uh, and we need to freshen it up with some new hotly cooked Gitsies. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. You always know you're going to get a good match when this guy walks in the building. <laughs> But no, uh, I would like to switch out the the uh, Gitsy clips we have. Women's champion, what's her name? No name, zero name, no name for her. I mean, it's no wonder you don't have an action figure. People don't even know your name. You know Rusev Day is not a real holiday, right? Blasphemy. How is anyone going to be able to purchase your fucking action figure if no one even knows who you are? What the hell is that rock eyebrow, dude? Hey, Corey, I heard that they were going to add a uh, fifth bust to Mount Rushmore. I didn't hear that. I heard that same thing. going to feature the Lion of Bulgaria, Rusev. Oh, my gosh. I'm very glad he's back, dude. I'm very glad that he's back on TV. It seems like they're doing something like with with sorry with uh, him and CJ Perry. And there's honestly a lot of like uh, cool things uh, that you can sort of do with that. Might <laughs> it might finally get me to watch it again uh, because um, I've <laughs> I've been out of it since I think All In. So so over for ha so for. Uh, so for uh, nearly a month at this point, I think. I'm just... So oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hey. Graciously give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I gonna get my own action figure? Never. But yeah, like I've just uh, not really been watching wrestling all that much right now, uh, not because I hate it or anything, but because. You know, just with with how things are right now in terms of just like a, the uh, Discord server and uh, <laughs> and how uh, the fucking days that we watch uh, ponies uh, they conf what the hell uh, they conflict like with uh, when when uh, dynamite's on and that is uh, and even though you know I've. Even though I want to watch uh, Dynamite, I want to watch Ponies with my server more. So for now, uh, Dynamite takes a bit of a backseat. Which is fine. I hear that there are uh, quite a few cool things happening right now. Um, I know that the current uh, world title uh, program is, I think, Samoa Joe and um, MJF. I think Roderick Strong, too. Maybe. Also, props to Roderick Strong. For, like not getting lost in the shuffle <laughs> because in a place in a place like an AEW it is not enough to simply be a good wrestler it is not enough to simply be a good wrestler because AEW is full of those you know it's not special but what is special is being a fucking dork that's always in a neck brace and being like Adam whenever you start a promo That is very, very goofy and very, very silly. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. It's very, very goofy and it's very, very silly. What the fuck, dude? Okay, there you go. That's the same game. My, get my ass handed to me. The hell? There you go. Apparently, Mox is. Is the um, international champion now? 
But you know what? That's cool. Um, it's honestly kind of weird to see him with a belt that's not the world title. Because, like, I always associate that with him. I always associate that uh, belt with him, and I... It's hard to imagine, like, with a mid-card title, you know? But... But... It's very cool. <laughs> it's very cool. I, uh... I kind of enjoy how, like, uh... At least according to uh, Twitter, he is uh, currently going through the whole roster one by one in um, alphabetical order. And apparently Jade Cargill is going to WWE. Is that like the rumor right now? Like, I don't really know what exactly has uh, people thinking that. I mean, I do know. I mean, I do know that she's back in a uh, title program with uh, Chris Statlander. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm honestly not so sure. But no, the the waft of punk has sort of uh, died down a little bit for me. It is, in my head, not as hard to enjoy wrestling now. But that being said. That being said, I just don't really have time right now, and, like, also, <sighs> apparently, like, there's going to be legal issues coming out of it, and it's something that we're just going to have to see come up on and off throughout the next months. And I'm just like, man, AEW is exhausting right now. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no thanks. I'm fine for now. I'm okay for now. Thank you very much for that. Nothing, apparently. You're just fucked. <laughs> They're just like, fuck if I know. Fuck if I know, dude. So, man, everyone is so, like, everyone is so beefy right now. It's probably because I'm just like. <laughs> it's probably because. Oh shit! Oh no! Ah! Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. God, I'm so slow, dude. I'm so slow. I know I don't have to be slow, but I would rather pull my teeth out than go through that upgrade tree. That thing is awful. No! Fuck you. Get up. And now Rusev is showing them how they do it in Eastern Europe. <laughs> in Eastern Europe. Fantastic. There you go, the big fucking boot, Hogan style, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I I literally just reminded myself of something. Uh, I was playing a 2K23's universe mode the other day, and <laughs> and I was I was playing it for like research purposes, right? I wanted to see what would be possible with it for maybe a potential. Uh, video or stream and and I chose him LA Knight I chose him in the superstar mode version of universe mode uh, and and to say that it was a funny experience would be an understatement because because uh, what ended up happening was the first the first guy I wrestled was uh, Gunter right and I got like into a feud with him, and so uh, and so we wrestled again, and again, and again, and again for like two months, for like two months straight. Gunter was all I fought, and then when I won his uh, title, I just stopped fighting him. He was <laughs> he was no longer showing up, but but until that time period, 
I just wrestle Gunter twice a week, every week, on main event and on SmackDown. And it was just really funny to think that, like, there was no other competition for LA Knight except for Gunter. There was no- what the fuck? <laughs> well, you know what? At the very least, I'm not the one who's, uh, <laughs> who's beating up the referee now. He had it coming, dude. Jackhammer. No. No! Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I was literally about to say, do not, do not do that. Victory right there. Well, they certainly are a unique pairing, Michael. A unique pairing that also worked very well together, I might add. Oh, yeah. Again. Miss Sunburn and the Nostalgia Critic. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. But no, um... Once I won the IC title, too, right? Like, once I won that belt, there was absolutely nowhere else to go. Right? There was nowhere else to go. Uh, and... In all seriousness, <laughs> even though it wasn't as important, I just ended up having a bunch of rando matches after that. After that. First action figure and cross it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work. Because let's be honest, if we've been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a <laughs> You deserve it. She's in it. <laughs> not you. <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit the fuck down. I'm sorry, my name was Mickey, too. It's Mickey Jones. Got a little too excited there. <laughs> you fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, oh, you're up to this now. Live, it's my job to present a what? Which means constantly introducing what? to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent. Paul White is the fucking GM of SmackDown. I'm sorry, Mickey. But based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option. Go to Impact, yeah, baby. <laughs> Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. <gasps> That's literally the storyline they had! That's literally the storyline that they had in, like, Impact. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side? Oh yeah, he'll manage your time, baby. Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak and one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Cool. This is literally the storyline that they did in fucking in fucking um, Impact, dude, like literally the moment that she lost the uh, Knockouts title, she would have to retire. I don't know if that ended up happening. I don't know if that like ended up happening or if she just like relinquished the title. I think she just relinquished it because welcome everyone to the most because she got hurt. Talk show ever, iconic talk 
with your hosts, the Iconics. God, they're androids, dude. So many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone. They're like androids, right dude. They're like a VTuber. The longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. Just finish with what I was doing. Champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia is Better. This oh boy, we're doing this, huh? I think I told you my hooks of my lure were bent, went and got some replacements, and yeah. Culture and explain How was that? How's your fishing adventures better? going? Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with. Oi, oi, all right, lads. We got no, some cricket up in this that is fucking. Very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible dog. Up in this baseball. fucking pub. To further educate you on this superior. Those are some ginormous cricket sticks. Cricket, shall we? There are only. Those are so fucking there. large sticks, hey, dude. Mom. Law one! A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favorites. Now, law two. Cool, great. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. Just, just go to Wikipedia, you fucking mark. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show, as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey? <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious. Yes. She really is a fossil. Where is You've it? never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Oh, well, the moment's Maybe passed. Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you. Wait, it was eight years ago? And I've only gotten better since then. Huh? Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying Why the hell is time moving so quickly? I bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing. That a decade later, when that pathetic opponent raised her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. How old is Mickey that James? Was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win... At this point, she was like... And if you win, you end my career. <laughs> that I mean, she was 40 years old by this point. That's... Is that's not old at all. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. That's so but like interesting to think about. Teaching everyone about like how much of a disparity there is between interrupt between quote unquote iconics. old women's wrestlers and quote unquote old men's the wrestlers. Viciously attack Red and Mickey with those like there's at least a five year gap. I feel like I don't really think you start considering like male wrestlers old until they're at least forty five. You know, going into this match with so much at stake. Whereas, like, with women's matches, or rather, like, with women's wrestlers, that uh, that bar is much lower, funnily enough. And it's, like, weird to, like, hear... <laughs> it's weird to hear them basically denigrate themselves a little bit. But whatever. They're told to... They're told to say it. It's in the script, pal. Don't go off of it. Do not deviate from the script. With the stipulation that if Red okay, there you go. Let's... Put on some fun fight music. Mickey can defeat the Iconics. They are a shot at their tag. As Red win the match by pinfall or submission. Mickey James' career will be over. And Red will make I don't know, it's just kind of interesting to think about how much of a disparity there is. The Iconics. Check your health. Oh, that's fine, don't worry. I will very slowly win this match. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's fighting 
working hard and reaping the rewards. Working over the arm, even though I have zero, zero big arm moves. I miss when wrestling games had music, honestly. In. I mean, especially like with how much I play wrestling games on stream. I like being able to sort of, uh, I like being able to have like a bit of like music in the background while I'm doing stuff like this, you know. Absolutely have a high opinion of yourself. Because like at some point it just gets a little awkward, you know. Work over that arm. Prime it up, ready for the big fucking move that you never use. Oh wait, chat. We got something great up our sleeves. We have the wrestling move up our sleeves, and it's going to be busted out here on Peyton Royce. Here in just... Wait, there you go. Arm drag. No! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what was that cell job? When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, I partially... What the hell was that, like, cell job? No! Ow! Soul food. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That was not very hardcore and awesome of you. Instead. What the f- No. Fuck you. You know, I'll tell you, she's one of the most talented women superstars I've ever seen here in WWE. Prompt? What the heck? You know what? You frankly are honestly not much faster than me. You're honestly not much faster than me, so if anything... If anything, just die. Oh my god, I'm actually playing with someone with a bit of speed? Who'd have thunk it? I can't believe it, chat. The game's actually slightly fun now. It's actually like a little fun now, just a little bit though. It still runs incredibly poorly and uh... And pulling off moves isn't as uh, satisfying, but you know, I have, I have a bit more up my sleeve. Fuck. I have a bit more up my sleeve now. Ow. Nah. Not even a one count. Not even a one count. Nah. Nice. It's obvious Billy K is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Woo! Spiking DDT. Nice. And now you'll just go in and you'll pick up the scraps. <laughs> That's so bad. She the favor there. No, come on. I forgot. I forgot the control scheme and it fucked me. Now that was not hardcore and awesome. Hold on just a second. Chat's back. But no, I do... 
I do miss, like, when uh, wrestling games did have music. It's at least better than hearing the same, like, uh, uh, commentary lines on repeat. Because, like, if you... If you play these again, uh, um, as much as I do, then you hear... Then you hear most of the things pretty... Yeah, they're, like, most of the things pretty quickly. The same thing! I made the same mistake. No, fuck you. Look out! I'm going to end your bloodline. Not that one. That one should end. Or whatever. I'm going to end your bloodline now. No! Mmm. Fine. You know what? Nah. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to drop you on the hardest part of the ring. Bam. I just said that. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There you go. No way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. Pin. Pin off of that. Pin off of that. Pin off of that. That's it. That's the match. One. Two. No, come on. Mmm. I am doing three stomps maximum per stanza. Stomp in time with the music. Oh. Fuck you. There you go. <laughs> All right, get her up. Forearms. No. Okay, good. Jeez. Things not going her way. Her head's gotta be pounded. No! You have two finishers stored up now. She has two finishers stored up now, dude. What the fuck was that? Cool. Cool. Run it. Cool. Run it back. <laughs> Run that shit back. Mm, you know, get on down on the ground. I'm not even going to take my time with you. I'm just... I'm coming out here, I'm taking the titles, and I'm going back to the locker room to the pay window. That's that's all we're doing here, chat. Wrestling's a lie, we made it up for money! There you go. Fuck. That is not the head, that is in fact the arm. That is not above the shoulders, she is very much selling her leg. That is not her head, that's her- chat. Chat, I think commentary needs a cup of coffee. I'm thinking that commentary needs a bit of a cup of coffee, chat. It's fine, don't listen to them. Let's keep working over the arm for no reason. <laughs> okay, 
keep working over the arm for absolutely no reason. Get her up. And let's do some actual fucking wrestling for once. Keep trying to want to do like a springboard with uh, with uh, Mickey James, but I don't think you can, can you? I don't think that's something you can do. There you go. Okay, finally, finally, you get a call right, Michael. Only took you a few a few tries, but you got it. Snap suplex. No, that's the back. Ow. What the hell is commentary's problem, chat? <laughs> you know what? I'm I don't even think that like Mickey James is much better. She's like faster, but she isn't much faster. A move discovered. Instant recovery. I found it. I found it in my back pocket. She's in trouble now. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Okay, I need to get up. I gotta get up and get that tag, brother. And stop getting my ass kicked. Alright, I'm for <laughs> Alright, unfortunately a fucking ad's gonna have to play. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Good lord! Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. I'm getting decapitated by the ropes. I'm getting decapitated by the ropes. Anyways, yes, add. Raw rolls on after this. I was about to say, can you, like, do something? Can you do something, Red, instead of just sit there and fail your idol? Like you always do. What the, what the hell? What the hell? Man. Okay, you know, listen, I'm I'm gonna down her and then I'm gonna go ahead and tag in red because she very much needs to be in this match. Oh, Gets the tag. There you go. Come on! Yes! No! Welcome back to Raw! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, gotta get back up. Wrestling move! Let's go! Right, she's fucking ragdolling. Ragdolling, ragdolling, ragdolling. Count it, ref. One, two. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
<laughs> the fact I'm so weak is actually starting to like bug me, chat. But like, I don't want to spend more than more than just a couple minutes in that f <laughs> in that skill tree because it takes so long to do anything. I'm very much not a fan of that. Looks like I'm not a fan of the music not looping. That's how you wear down your opponent. No, just like going and do it off camera. I'm not gonna do it off camera. No. Not gonna happen, bud. Because clearly you are beginning to hit a limit. No fucking chance. We are in this. We're in this through the trials and the tribulations. Especially when we have wrestling move on our side, or at the very least when we think we do. <laughs> mm, there you go. I don't do shit off camera. We do it all right here. Like so. Wrestling move. Bam. She ain't getting up from that. My dude, she's injured. One, two, three. Good. Eat the injury. While we eat well with this fucking bag that we just won. Here are your winners. No one of note. <laughs> Absolutely no one of note. Cool. So wait. Wait, are we like the women's tag champs now? Was that match for the women's tag titles? That seemed like it was, right? Or am I not... Or am I not, uh... Am I not, uh, am I not getting it? Is there a point I'm missing? That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, I imagine that the that your tag I imagine that the match for it's going to be gimmick match on though. Our home turf. That's right. In our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. Don't you just love a foreign heel? We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also Hello, know Mario. it's going to be. How's the wrestling? Uh, well, you know, it's not very good. Which are the most iconic rules? What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag, or willy willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes, you know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> My dude, she's like 39. She's like 40-ish. You'll be 40-ish too one day. How does that make you feel? Anyways. What's in my thing? I respect what you're doing for Mickey. I don't think it's going to work, but it's a nice gesture. Okay. How about this, chat? We're going to do this. We're going to speed run through this shit. I don't really care about any of this. I don't really care about that. 
2K20 is its own form of wrestling at this point, lol. It's wrestling with my patience. <laughs> One on one with my will to fucking keep going. <laughs> uh, how about this chat? We're going to speed run this, right? I will go until this is done. Oh, yeah! Yes. SA2 battle. This is Metal Harbor. Everything has its own speed meter. Listen, man, I... I hate to beat a dead horse, but I really need to ask, is all this necessary? No, it's not. You could just consolidate all this into one meter, but no, it, rather like into a few meters. But no, instead you had to be clever about it. It is at this point where I realize that I've been beating, like, upper 70s and, like, lower 80s overall wrestlers in mid-60s overall. I'm just that good. Oh, hell, Jun Sonoy. Would you like to equip it now? Oh, well, I can only equip a few different skills, yeah. We got, wait. All right, that's it. That's what we got. That's what we got for now. We'll do that one more time, but with our illustrious Bubble Bass Mark. Just gotta go and wake him up from his coma. And he'll be good to go. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is a fantastic... I don't think you spent any skill points, though. I spent attribute points. No, I spent skill points. They're like these, right? Yeah, like I spent skill points on that. So did you see the uh, Nintendo Direct and or State of Play? If so, any games you're excited for? Hold that thought. We gotta power through it. You know, I didn't really watch the, uh, the, uh, direct today. I was at work. <laughs> I didn't re <laughs> speed run, baby. Can I get some, uh, raft jams in chat? <laughs> Disappear. You know what? I'm going to make that the skill. <laughs> I don't even care about any other stats. I just need them to go faster.
resiliency? I mean, listen. The fucking nostalgia critic is pretty resilient, alright? <laughs> <laughs> if no one else got me, I know Nelson got me in chat. Beast mode. My feeling when I have to watch Bebe's kids. We don't die, we multiply. So where even is my movement speed at this point? <laughs> oh, I love the poison mist, dude. Super kick? Oh, it's crushing big boots? Alright. Escape artist is pretty good. Well timed. <laughs> Once again, I have defeated you, Batman. Bruh. Ow. But no, uh, I didn't really watch. I didn't watch them um, either of them. But I'm excited for Paper Mario. I'm glad that Paper Mario fans are getting something. <laughs> It's been a little long since they've gotten really anything worthwhile, right? One sec, I need to get the model hotkey right. It's really been a while since they've gotten, like, anything to really sink their teeth into. They've just kind of gotten more sort of, uh, more sort of, uh, gimmicky adventure games. I know that's not really what people want. You and Red have been in WWE for like four years now and haven't changed your gear much. Even John Cena changed the look of his jorts every now and then. Uh, BT Dubs, I'm not saying you should wear, you should wear jorts because they're hideous. I'm just using that as an example. So consider this your fashion invention. Also, I know we haven't really talked in like eight years since we met in Calgary, but I assume you've been worried sick ever since. Well, I have good news. My turning teal, teal. My turning toe has fully healed. Good to hear. Mmm, gorgeous. Famous, famous, no, 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 we're not going back here. Famous, famous YouTuber. Mmm, gorgeous. What else got announced in that direct, though? Like, I'm surprised. Change that attire, you fa- No. No. No, chat. Chat. I don't want you to come up to me. I want you to come up to me and tell me that this needs changing. I literally changed it. I changed it like- I changed it- I changed it last week! This does not need changed. He's perfect. Okay? He's gonna wrestle them so you don't have to. And really, we need something like that in all our lives. We need someone who will just wrestle the matches that nobody else wants to. And he's here to do that. Look at the drip on Mark. Look at his, like, clip-on tie, dude. And as for Marissa... Listen, at this point, that gear's basically melded to her. Along with the red on her skin. It is a part of her agony. Uh, this is probably licensed. Nope. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm not even going to risk it, chat. Because I know that if we, like, play a license track on this, then this VOD's going to get blicked. So, we're not even going to do that. Let's see who we have in chat right now. We have Mech. We have Nelson. We have Malamak. We have Roshan. We have Sock Dutums. Hello. Hopefully, y'all are doing well. Thank you very much for hanging out with me this evening. Super duper appreciate it. Um, let's continue on. The following contest is an Australian Rules Tag 
What is that? Oh yeah, May. I don't know this one. Oh Christ, she don't have a name, huh? Oh, this match is cooked for sure. <laughs> what am I even doing? Why she boot out the building? For Mickey. From Richmond, Virginia. My dude, why was she getting booed out the building there? <laughs> why was she getting booed out the building? An Australian tag match? Yeah, yeah, it takes... It takes place in Australia and fucking Dank Paz just comes in and throws a bunch of 2005 tech in the ring. And that's the match. You can use... <laughs> you can use those weapons, but only, like old like mp3 players from like from <laughs> from like 2003 to like 2009 are illegal anything else they'll get you dq i don't even think we got cricket here they're just projecting where they want to be Oh, no, nah, brah. Nah, brah. Look at that. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like As if the women's tag titles needed to be denigrated further. Look at these physics. The belt... Dude, the belts are having a tag team match with their shirts. There's no physics going on there. They didn't account for that. Now, sure, there's there's still some issues in like in like 2K22 and 23, but not to this extent. This is so weird. <laughs> but no, Nelson, there's nothing to change about Bubble Bass Mark. He's perfect the way he is. I'll have you know that he defeated Brock Lesnar in that attire. Did he do that when he was in... You win these, you make <laughs> Did he do that when he was in a fucking... In a fucking uh, throw-on coat? I don't think so. Ah, yes, the void, where we are all meant to go. You have to believe the iconics of the major... Alright, chat, what are we... What are we listening to? We can either do... I got a bunch of fight music here. We have uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, just a normal battle theme. Uh, we have the boss theme. We have Super Mario RPG. We have Here Comes the Pain music. We got Skyrim. We have we have um, ID Purpose. We have Final Fantasy III. The, the ref looks so artificial. My dude, everyone in this ring looks like an android. Funnily enough, the only one who doesn't look like an android is... <laughs> It's my hellish custom character. My dude, I basically made a tiefling. Who needs Baldur's Gate when you have this? But do you have Trails music? The real question. I do not have Trails music on here. I do, though, have Persona music. I got Sonic music. You know what? I'm feeling it. We gotta get Billy K to red help. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? My dude, I'm not even trying now. I'm not even trying to like hit the ref now. It's just happening. <laughs> the re <laughs> the refs in this game suck, dude. They're made of like twine and like Elmer's <laughs> and like Elmer's glue stick. They're made of twine and Elmer's glue stick. There's there's nothing to them. That ref had a family. Yeah, and look what happened to him. 
Mac, I'll tell you what, if you send me the best Trails music you can find, I will put it in this... I will put it in this thing. The ref, the ref is always catching a stray every stream. You can't be getting away with this. Well, maybe he shouldn't be getting in the way. Maybe he shouldn't be getting in the way. You ever think about that one? Because I, because I can tell you for sure that the ref doesn't think about it. Ever. Oh. Isn't Trails music copyrighted? I mean, technically all this music is copy- What the- What? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> what? No, the cut- No, you can't tell me! The cutscene broke! <laughs> Payne Royce forgot her spot! What the hell are you doing with that stick? Oh, oh no, she's gonna hit her own tag team partner! <laughs> no sold it! No sold it, chat! <laughs> my dude, my dude Peyton Royce has a titanium skull! She is not out here catching strays, she is the fucking stray! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Once again, I have defeated you, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What the hell? What the hell is that, chat? All fear Peyton Royce. Okay, well, you know what? I just have to make sure that you can take a bump now. I need to make sure you're not like a Terminator or something. That's twice now, Byron. Yeah. Okay, good. You are not quite indestructible. She just keeps using that. I'm taking my sports. Grabs cricket, bat, we're done. <laughs> Alright, all right, we gotta win by pinfall or submission. What the hell, chat? Holy fucking shit. That was so absurd. Also for a trails track, I recommend the... Tie a link to Arcus. Okay, send it to me, please. <laughs> send it to me. My dude, after that, I'm never playing sports again, Nelson. I'm never playing sports again. Oh no! <laughs> like a YouTube video? Yes, 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 like a YouTube video. No. No, 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 no. I do not want you going invincible again. Clearly, clearly the cricket bat gives you otherworldly powers. So I must use it before you can do any more harm unto us humans. It is, <laughs> it is my God-given mission to destroy you in, in order to save the human race. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Oh, oh. Ow, no, don't side with the enemy. Insides. Billy Kane, don't you realize you'll be next? You'll be next, dude. You can't side with the enemy because the enemy doesn't care about you. She'll just hit you with the cricket bat. <laughs> I love the uh, disparity between like this. <laughs> Sorry, uh, between like this game and the more like recent 2K games and where like when you when you take off the uh, table thing in this, they like take off the monitors by like uh, gingerly picking them up one by one. Whereas in the newer games, they just they just swipe all of them away in one fell swoop. Anyways, where were we? I genuinely don't even remember. Really just laying it in. Oh, flying four. That'll turn your lights out. 
Okay, you know what? You're a lost cause. She wants to finish this. I must make sure that you cannot do any more harm as well. Uh -oh. I must cure you. All right. Humanity has been saved, chat. Now this is poggers. That was a relief, chat. All right. Cool. We have women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Cool. What what a match. That's one for the books, brother. What do you think about that, homunculus? What do you think about that? Oh yeah, one more thing I want to do with the homunculus. Um I want to like code a specific personality for him. Like I want to make it so that if you have a question and, and you pose it to him, James went from being a hero he'll actually give you a response, like in that. character. She was now my tag team partner and. Anyways, chat. I hate to do it, but we gotta go to a break. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? We gotta go to a How fucking break. Won? I'm sorry. Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover <laughs> of WWE 2K25? I do, but hang on a second. Earlier, you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down. This will continue in picture in picture. <laughs> remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. Skip match and continue story. We don't care about this. Mickey went on to defeat Kyrie Sane, giving her two championships and continuing her incredible winning streak to avoid retirement. That feels really weird that they would just give you an option to play a to play like a bonus match in a story cut scene. It's really strange to me. All right, let's Let's see this music. I feel like you've been a little Hold off on. lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. That's, That's not how a uh, dog walker. What? Example, my dude, everyone just keeps fighting with their clothes. To be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first Somebody option, once told what do you me. Mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. Hello, Mario. He just keeps phasing. <laughs> hey, Sax. How you doing? Damn, that boy. Thick ass boy. Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. How you doing, Sex? Right. I guess I should... Damn, that's a thick boy. Speaking of boys, look at this guy down here. Do you see him? Look at him. Look at this little fucking hell spawn. That's a giraffe homunculus. So yeah, face or heel. I would say, uh, hmm, 
I don't know, Chad. I kind of want to be the heel. I kind of want to be the heel. I kind of want to be the heel in this instance. Uh, because, just, because frankly, that just sounds more fun. That just sounds more fun. Heel, boy, heel. You know what? We'll do it here after a short break. <laughs> we'll do it here after a short break because uh, I would like to get up and stretch. We've been, we've been going for nearly uh, two hours and my uh, battery pack just died. And I need to switch over to my uh, direct charging. So, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We will take a shorter break than normal, uh, probably around five minutes, and then we'll be back. So hold your horses, chat. I'm going to go recover from what the fuck we just witnessed in that cricket bat match, wherever the heck it was. And <laughs> I'll see you all in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm not over it, chat. <laughs> I tried. I tried for a good solid six minutes. And I'm not over what we witnessed there. I am not over it, chat. How can you be over something like that? How can you be over something like that? You just... Listen, we witnessed the robot uprising and thank God that Red and Mickey James were strong enough to stop it. You know, thank God, because I don't even want to think about what would have happened if we let that shit go. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Uh, who all do we have here? We have Mac. We have Nelson. We have Hateable Vermin. Hello. We have uh, Mala Mac. We have Roshan. We have Sax. We have Sock Dutons. Uh, thank you once again for hanging out this evening, everyone. Uh, you know... We are going to continue our story here, and we need... We've been good for too long, okay? We've been good for way too long. We got to start making this roster feel the pain that Red feels every day, the stinging sensation that she has across her entire being. See, it isn't her fault that she's the way she is. She was born into the sunburn, but no one understands. No one understands her plight. And because of that, she thinks that they look down on her, including her idol, Mickey James. So, in order to finally make someone understand what she's feeling, she feels that she has to take it out on someone else. And this is how she does it, by ending the career of Mickey James, asterisk, sending her to TNA. <laughs> That was a difficult choice, but at least you're in control of the situation. Yeah, I guess. Nah, get mad. Oh, no, no. Nah. She's going to be prepared to feel the sting now, man. She's going to be prepared to feel that sting, friend. Mickey about to be TNA bound. She really is about to get future endeavored. <laughs> she really is about to get future endeavored up here, my friend. <clears throat> it appears Red and Mickey are having a slight disagreement over who's going to start the match. A uh, bit strange since these two are normally on the same page. Looks like they worked things out for now, at least. I'm a little surprised, honestly. I'm surprised that, like, they actually had someone voicing voicing right in these cutscenes. It would have been really simple for them to just not have her say anything. had a lot of success lately, so Red and Mickey better not take them lightly. I'm pretty sure since Mickey's career is on the line in every... You know what? I don't really think we need the music for this. She's not going to take anyone lightly. Actually, hold on a second. It's human nature to occasionally take your eye off the ball. It's also human nature to not want to constantly annoy your... What am I saying? Of course we need the music. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, back body drop. We always need music. You bet. Form grapple while she's in the ring. And now Mickey 
James tags herself in. This might have something to do with that disagreement they had before the match. Uh oh. They're going to lose, and Mickey's career will be over. Whoa! Mick kick out of nowhere! And that'll do it! Despite whatever friction Mickey James and Red. What? <laughs> okay. I get so, but I still think something's not quite right. Ah. No idea, but maybe their earlier issue was bigger than we thought. I'm the tag team champions. A mick kick put her away, you bet. You don't deserve to hold this tag title because you are not a partner. A partner wouldn't conspire to turn her back on a teammate. To intentionally lose these titles and end her supposed friend's career. Listen, I've seen the future. I know what these fucking albatrosses of titles do to you. As a team. And I'll keep defending these tag titles all by myself. If I have to. Hey, virtually God. Long time no see. Women's championship? If you want it so bad, so Smack SmackDown Live Women's Championship is so unwieldy. But since I'm away. risking my career, you're expected going to, have in the mail. to put something important of Hello, Mario. <laughs> on the line too. Something that means just as much as my career. What do you got? Oh, I know. How about that precious sacred list of yours? If I win, Rosef, I'll just print out a new one. Maybe you'll start thinking a little more clearly. So tell me, how bad do you want? my title like that's not even a threat i'll just go into the back i'll find a copy printer and i'll just I'll do it and i'll just keep on i'll just keep on doing this this is truly shocking we all knew the team of red and mickey james would eventually come to an end but what kind of a stipulation is this it would happen like this and now they're facing each other with mickey i just Greer? I like to imagine that, like, if Red loses the match, Mickey just tears it up in front of her, and Red's like, <laughs> You fool! I have 70 alternative lists! And then she just rips them up one by one. Nope, 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 not happening. Anyways, Mac, what is this music? What's this music here? Yeah, you were so close. You'll get it eventually. Oh, shit. Career versus piece of paper match, no lie. Oh, chat, that viol- Dude, chat, all you need is to put a violin in there and I'm set, you know? If you put a violin in your boss music, I'm set. I can survive in the wilderness for a week off that. I love how she still gets no announcement. She's simply just a person in the back. See, this- See, this is the kind of disrespect we're talking about, chat. Here we go, gentlemen. This right here is kind of this right here is the kind of disrespect we're talking about. To everyone, if there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Not only does she have a painful sunburn all across her body, but no one even acknowledges her existence. She can win the Raw title, the SmackDown women's title. She can win every belt there is on earth, and yet people will not know her name. You're going home empty-handed. Career versus piece of paper match. Who do you think of? I'm a guy who traded everything he owns for a worthless piece of paper. Hey, thanks. Wow. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm literally just imagining Zelda's CDI Link like reenacting that scene from SpongeBob, and where he's like, a worthless piece of paper. Hey, thanks. That's just what I needed, Squidward. Of her career, she's never lost that love of competition. <laughs> peppy attitude for even a second. Mickey's still chasing titles. You, you're about to get future endeavored, my friend. Like all the in-ring greats, 
she has that never say die spirit that just can't my be chief you're about to get future endeavor all right chat now this is the music that we've been searching for Legend of Heroes, Sin no Kisaki. Sin no Kisaki. Is that the Japanese name? The challenger from Akron, Ohio. Feel my pain! And introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Mickey J. I just love how, like, in this universe, no one has even bothered to ask what Marissa's name is. She's simply this nameless character. She has no personality to these people. Much, much like her inspiration. Hello, Melissa. All right, chat. We're gonna time this, okay? We're gonna time this. So much at stake tonight in this emotion to a match between four. Let's go! So much to rest. Fuck you, Michael Cole. I don't care what you're saying. Peak. Kinda goes hard, not gonna lie. This is actually pretty actually pretty cool. Who knew that novels could have such great music? Nineteen eighty four didn't have a soundtrack as killer as this. Catcher in the Rye? Never heard of it. Does it have violins in it? I don't think so. Does he know about the guitar solo? <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was vibing a little too hard there. And now, the piece of the resistance, the wrestling move. The vibe on Wait, wait, the, <laughs> the ref. The rep just peace out of existence. The least excited superstar to win a championship that I've ever seen. The most protected move in wrestling in 2019. I beat you fair and square. I didn't even have to leave this ring. Path to get here, but you still deserve this. Just remember, some things in life are a lot more important than crossing things off a list. This isn't about the list, sister. This is about proving a point. Maybe I deserve this title, but you deserve this moment. 
Despite what led up to this match, that's a respectful gesture from Red, giving Mickey James an opportunity to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. Yeah. And go straight into the impact zone. Put their friendship back together. Thank you, Mickey James. You and your contributions to WWE will be severely missed. Cool. When the... Oh. Wait, wait. When... When is the Divas title gonna come into the picture, chat? Don't you just love all of these different decals for chairs? This is some good content. Wah. Great content that we have on display. What? 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 <laughs> well, well, it's time to go to Impact. All right, chat. We gotta shut this shit down, and I gotta break out the PS3 and and play some TNA Impact. And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. <laughs> the nostalgia critic happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I, I would just never throw rocks at a sign like that. I love I love how Bubble Even Bass we sticks out like a sore thumb. Recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I don't get it. A movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. They thought it was a fluke. Why did they think it was a fluke? Force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess now things are going to get scary, chat. Hold on to your butts. Cause shit's about to hit the fan, I guess. Question mark. <laughs> By the way, I saw your movie. Wait! Some of the choices you've made were Bubble Bass is a Paul Heyman guy? Intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So other than this fantastic I have no I'm a real big fan of the nostalgia critic. Am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! What a mark. But before you go any further, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. That's funny. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So, how do I earn the respect mm -hmm. of everyone in the locker room? <laughs> how do I reach the heights the legends <laughs> she really is? What a mark. That's Hall of Fame worthy. I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. Let him rest, yes. bud. I'm talking about the Undertaker. The greatest force this universe has ever known? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come mean on. Mean Mark Calloway. So am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over the Undertaker did for my I client. see bootios in the background. I've actually yes. never even tried them. The I know that you can prestige. still get them, I There's think. There's only one. They're probably way. just kind of a mediocre yeah. version of Lucky no Charms, though. The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Wait, are we like entering like the realm of fan fiction here? I feel like we're entering that realm. For taste, 
Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have, your well-being, your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. <laughs> We're going to a cabin in the woods? Despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. You know what? Paul Heyman is not that bad of a VA. He actually did a pretty, like, decent job there, if I do say so myself. Not all wrestlers are good VAs. In fact, many of them are not. But Paul Heyman is an exception. Creepy here late at night. Did you know well, he doesn't wrestle, so what would you even call that? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, what would you think? Someone who talks for a living is good at talking. Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guys. <laughs> what, like just in the random part of the Did arena? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. Have you not seen what happens in boiler rooms in wrestling? For someone who's been in the business for as long as you have, you don't know your history. Let's find McFoley, like, playing Parcheesi. <laughs> Saw. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other <clears> time. <throat> I mean, technically, the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait. I think I just saw something move. Hello? I just love this. Man, we really are going into the realm of fan fiction. Come what is on, happening here? It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. My dude would never survive a Halloween haunted house. Out down here. <clears throat> My dude takes five steps into the cornfield maze and is just out. <laughs> Papa Shango! Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... What the hell is this angle? Apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find The Undertaker. Paul Hey, My dude, Papa Shango's a Paul Heyman guy? Bro is not surviving Outlast. <laughs> <laughs> this really is. It does look like Outlast, yeah. You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> what was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor? Ah, oh, yeah, the drugs. Brother! Um. <laughs> it really is the drug. I think it's some kind of portal. Go get the cops! The drugs! Go get the drugs! The drugs! See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open minded. So maybe. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's get the drugs! You to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into the netherworld. It looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. 
Pineapple on pizza is actually pretty based. Fine. They are elevated. <laughs> they they are very much on a different plane right now. They're very much on a plane. What what the hell is this, chat? You and I are going to enjoy this together. <laughs> hey, wait! That looks oh, terrible. No. <laughs> well, that's just great. Now we don't. It looks awful. Guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey. Snap out of it! What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's Oh, hey, it's the Batman Arkham Asylum okay. section. <laughs> it's Kane! <sighs> this is awesome! This is very not awesome. I want to fuck you up, dude. to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out! My dude, it's a ring of fire. Just step over it. <clears throat> what the? What? <laughs> uh, chat. Chat. I don't know what we're... I don't know what music we're doing with this. Uh. Hmm. You know what? Given how it's fire... <laughs> now this is fire emblem ah <laughs> oh, damn i didn't realize that this was the three houses dlc <laughs> it's actually a lot shitter than i thought it'd be <laughs> it's got cane in it <laughs> It's a ring of fire, just step over it. Just spit on it. Okay, like there there has to be like a way to like make it more hardcore, right? Hey! Fuck you. No Marianne, not my f <laughs> No, instead, instead you get Marissa. There you go. What is this? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta move my pawns. <laughs> what the? Wait, wait, do I throw these at him? What? Huh? Chad, what? A Chad, what was the point, though? Like, what was the point of that then? Okay, lead pipe. Fuck you. I guess you were right, Kane. Mike, Mike, Mike does make right. Fuck you. Ah, oh, yeah, rest hold. Knock you out with this, brother. All right, I just gotta, I gotta stand here and get my stamina back. I miss when Fire Emblem had. Not Kane in it. <laughs> right, this has to be it, right? <clears throat> there you <laughs> Okay. 
It's all right, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. What the? F <laughs> Are those fireworks? Weird. <laughs> That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. That's pretty strange, Brug. No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. That's pretty strange, Brug. I just barbecued Kane. What the hell is what the hell is happening? It's a good something. Hey! Help! That was so shit. <laughs> Revolution 2021 look at us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I set out to find the It's already better than fight forever, dude. Get home alive. Step aboard, Scars God, and I will do my best to guide what? you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must Sax, is this your D&D campaign? Like what is this? What's happening now? Come on, this is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. Dude, I want some more of that wackier tobaccoier, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink. <laughs> what the hell? I have so many questions. My girl Red is tripping with that dust. Before you do battle, she's riding that high. You must first encounter. I say, yeah, yeah. Like, listen, this right here is the content I wanted. She will make you obsolete, and you will never return to your home dimension. Is Why there anything else you can tell us about her that would help? Why is Matt Hardy going hard on the VA, dude? Despair and decay. We have already entered her plane of existence some time ago. How can you tell? It's so dark out here. That's how I can tell. This is as far as Scars God can take you, so I must bid you farewell. That's it? What kind of boat ride doesn't have snacks? Do you at least have anything that can help us see where we're going? Only the Lady of the Marsh's luminance will piss the darkness. There, in the distance, a flickering light. Our passage of time on the ocean of reincarnation was wonderful. <laughs> I hope your vessels survive the treacherous conditions you now must face. Good evening, calm pills. Oh, yeah, I love Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Now, this is the content that I subscribe for. <laughs> How can you say that this game is terrible when this is in it? I should have listened to Paul Heyman and left this alone. I'd be at home on the couch right now watching true crime murder mysteries instead of becoming one. Don't say that. We can do this, whatever this is. That must be the Marsh Lady's cabin. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6 is looking crazy. Or we could quietly steal the lantern, run hmm. for our lives, and The more to modern to take is something I wasn't expecting, but it's pretty bold. Hello, Mario. <laughs> won't move. Ma <laughs> Mala Mac, hello. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my mind here. I genuinely don't think that we should go any further after this. I think that after this, we're done for the night. See? I was right. Oh, uh, yeah. Play with Nikki. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. 
<laughs> what? Is this about me messing with the <laughs> Those are some, that was some hair, bud. It's antique, right? Our fun is just getting started. <laughs> My friend, if this is the rest of the game, I'm good. <laughs> this is it. He's this could be the rest of the game. I'm good. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> uh, we go back to Fire Emblem? I kind of feel like we do. Fuck it, we're going back to Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually like kind of kind of good. I saw Matt Hardy, that means your mind gone, as in delete. Oh my god, I should make that a redeem chat. I should I should make the uh the uh delete chant a redeem. I feel like that would make for such a good uh, reaction thing. <laughs> you know what? It was pretty bold for the fucking for the fucking um, Elder Scrolls to start using uh, Fire Emblem music, but I honestly think it was the <laughs> I honestly think it was uh, uh, probably for the best. Honestly. Step on up and see if you can throw a giant gold. Let's see if you can do it. Wait, hold on. How much? How much of this can I interact with? How do I grab? Dragging. Nikki pulling red away was hilarious. It was. It was actually like great content. Not to say there has to be some more like interactivity to this. It can't just be me like bashing him across the door. You gotta like let me take him in there. Give him like a little swirly, you know? If I can't do a swirly to Bray Wyatt, then what's even the point? That, like, legit looked like a bad horror movie effect, too. Like, that was spot on. It was actually kind of uncanny. Can I hit... Can I hit him with the gates? <laughs> Fuck. Ow. Not the mallets. Nah. <laughs> My dude, imagine playing this with no music. It would be so awkward. But you know what? Let's play with no music. <laughs> this is what they hear on set. <laughs> on him <laughs> god reminds me of visiting my far family <laughs> it takes place in alabama you know what that makes so much sense when you actually think about it through that lens it actually begins to make sense hey. 
Oh yeah, there we go. There's some music. <laughs> Just two of the fam kicking the bejesus out of each other. I'll tell you what Cletus really did me in this time. You see, my brother, Huckabee Jones. He gave the last of the rhubarb pie to my inbred sister. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Two drunk dads at a little league game. It really was. Zakora as the referee. My cousin twice removed, Julie Sue. She won't like this one bit. Okay, okay, now we're just doing Evil Dead. Spike on commentary with Pinkie Pie. I literally made this joke during the watch alongs. Spike and Pinkie Pie are the Excalibur and Taz of my universe. Of the Pony universe. I'd pay for that view. <clears throat> you wanna play? with the raid of long boys, girls, NBs, and AGs. Thank you very much for raiding in. Thank you very much for, for raiding in. For those of you who don't know, my Hello, name is Drew Appenstead. I'm the president of the Law Boy Club, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat, although my Hello, stinky Mario. cat's not around. <laughs> Fluffy Fox Raid. Fluffy Fox Raid, indeed. Thank you for shouting out, Cole. She is lovely. She is a longtime friend. And what did you play? You played Honkai Impact 3rd. I probably butchered that quite badly. How is that game? I've never heard of it myself. How is it? What is it? Ahoy, Raiders. We're being raided. <laughs> is, is Spike Taz? No, Pinky's Taz. And Spike is Excalibur. I don't think Taz would, like, just say weird things on commentary just to make his colleagues crack up. But Pinky would absolutely do it. Pinky would absolutely just fuck around and find out, you know? And she would more often than not be successful. <laughs> Pinky is the suplex party machine. <laughs> Actually, that was accurate. And it's like, anime meets Bayonetta on mobile, but also really good. Yeah, but Taz be saying some shit. Same with Pinky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Taz is saying shit. <laughs> the suplex party machine. My continued descent into Hoyoverse. Hell is real. Well, you know what? Uh, can't be worse than Genshin Impact. I kid. Forward slash S. <laughs> Pinky's entrance would have confetti instead of pyro. No, no, no. Listen. If you have pyro, it has to be, like, multicolored. Right? You gotta have, like, confetti and cupcakes falling from the sky. But, like, the fire needs to be, like, pink. You know? It's gotta be, like, gimmick fire. It can't be that same fire that burned The Undertaker one year. One year. At Elimination Chamber. What the hell is this now? I half expect, like, the deer head up there to start laughing. This really is just what happens in Evil Dead. Party Express is her stable. Alright, well, what's her custom championship belt? Because Taz has the FTW title. What does Pinky have?
the FTP championship for the party. Homie just play fate like the rest of <laughs> the party weight title like 24-7 title. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky would have that one custom belt Naomi had, lol. What, like with lights and everything? <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> it would be so... It would be really awkward if it wasn't so funny. I just like to imagine that, like, I'm talking about, like, pony stuff, like, with my friends at, like, midnight. Ow! Hey, you! Nah. HGTV be looking wild! <laughs> I want a wrestling horror game that is as serious as this, TVH. You know what? I think I'd buy this house for five thousand dollars. Chat, let's chat, let's make a deal on this house. I'll buy it for five thousand. I especially enjoy the uh Rustic feel and the deer head it really it really brings in the aesthetic along with like just the picture of the frowny face up there That really just brings the ensemble all together It makes for a really uh, refreshing uh, neighborhood atmosphere. I Smell the mold here. It's character. You're smelling character. That's not a biohazard. You're smelling its character <laughs> And that's what really makes it five grand. So deal or no deal. <laughs> it just becomes a game show all of a sudden. If wrestling was like this, I would continue watching it. Well, you're watching it right now, so... Resisting intensifies. It's alright, cool. If you like Genshin, that's fine. It doesn't make me hate it anymore that Sonic lost to it. I mean, that was only 10 months ago. That doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't affect me at all. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Ow, I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> okay, what is over here? <laughs> Let me go over here! To be fair, the results were rigged. I now smell copium. Cope, cope, bitch! <laughs> I'm trying to survive here. Fuck you! Gear's villain backstory about to go crazy. Well, just you wait until the, just you wait until the next chapter of the E Fed. That's coming. <laughs> That's just Nikki Cross. Yeah, what about her? This right here is just the inside of Mike's house. This is what Melissa sees. What we were seeing in that- What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uranagi! There you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> we did a chat, we won! Yeah! <laughs> Why 
let's go! <laughs> Can I get some holy shit chance? <laughs> you know what? This game finally got good. Only took... How long have we been playing now? Like, 10 hours? Yeah, like 10 hours. Unfortunately... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I can... I can snooze one more time. We're good. No break just yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> I need to know when The Undertaker comes in and when... Like, woo, 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 you know it, bud. You know what, dude? Oh, good. You're okay. Radio's actually a really good. Radio's what, actually a bop. The hook? Yeah, it just lifted right off. I think you were doing something wrong. Or maybe we had to defeat its source of power to gain access to it. Eh. And I think that when uh, Downstate well, did it, I think it was a massive downgrade. Much. It's still pretty dark out here. I enjoyed it when it was kind of more. Wait, over there. I enjoyed when it was a bit more buzzy. The lights a bit more of a vibe, rather than kind of a hard rock thing. Out. Sure, why not? Because I think it's making it like into a hard rock thing kind of meets... Yet. It kind of uh, defeats the point of it. Zack Ryder has my heart on a good day. I really hope Matt Cardona is doing well. Yeah, I enjoyed the first version of it. I still pop it on from time to time. It's a vibe. It's Undertaker's symbol. We must be close. Ah, yes. There's a hook on it. Welcome to my Undertale cave. You were supposed to hang the lantern there? I really have no idea at this point, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Joke's on you. I finally learned what Whoa. Sand's Undertale is. <laughs> what are all those lights? Oh yeah, dude, we're at the <laughs> we're at the fucking Iron Maiden show. I think you some. I love Iron Maiden. I helped you get this far, but you have to do this on your own now. <laughs> to be a random wrestling f wrestle fan, EC3 is clapping. <laughs> Reaper is waiting to drag you through the fires of hell. And his name is Sans Undertale. It only took me three hours. <laughs> I love the climactic run. <laughs> it only took me three hours to defeat his boss fight. Why is there no sound? I'm not gonna lie, dude. If this shows up in Baldur's Gate 3, I will not be upset. So wait, old school is just a transitional move now? Take her out here selling this ring. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? Mine is Undyne. Although Alphys is also a bop. Cause fire is a silent scream chamber. <laughs> Apparently. There are no druids in the crowd, although I suppose uh, druids would be silent anyway, so it's fine. Dude, Undertaker's anatomy is having a match. With... <laughs> with fucking Bubble Bass Mark here. Oh yeah, I finally have someone to talk about my tidy seahorse with! What do you think about that, Undertaker? 
my favorite. My favorite of the main six is Rarity. What would Undertaker's like favorite favorite horse be? Like, let's take out Mark Holloway for a second and like just <laughs> if Undertaker reps rarity, I'm done. I'm personally a fan of Scootaloo. She's very inspiring. Uh, speaking of, speaking of inspiring, uh, we gotta take an ad break. I do not have any more delays, unfortunately, so we have to, we gotta power through it, chat. I'm sorry. This will probably be the last one of the night. Uh, Raw rolls on after this. <laughs> Raw rolls on after this. I don't know, chat. Uh, suddenly I'm having a lot of fun. Suddenly, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It has absolutely nothing to do with the actual gameplay, but the actual match itself is awesome. <laughs> Wander chat suddenly. If Undertaker reps rarity, I'm done. Have, <laughs> have you guys seen that one, that one post on uh, Twitter recently? <laughs> and where it's a death note and they and they and they have the uh, two characters uh, debating over which horse is better do you know that um, Undertaker is from a fictional place called Death Valley it's never Death Valley California where is he actually from in real life where is he from Undertaker. And like the poster writes it. He writes it as if it's like an actual like social uh, deduction between the characters that would happen in Death Note. <laughs> and then it just ends like with the demon character being like Applejack just straight up. <laughs> like they have an actual debate over it. Anyways, welcome back to Raw Chat. He lives in Austin, Texas. Mech, I will show you that meme. I will show you that meme here after this because it left me in stitches at work today. Fuck you. That's a homunculus wanting cheetahs. Don't worry about him. Can I, like, do a thing here? Fuck you. What? 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 He just no-sold it. It just clipped right through him. Stone Cold Steve Austin's Texas. <laughs> okay, we... Okay. We need music. We need music over this. This is way too awkward. Uh, let's see. This feels like Final Fantasy to me. This feels like a Final Fantasy moment, chat. Cannot die to the outside. The homunculus wants some attention. Well, I told him where the Cheetos are. He can go get some if he wants some. Those are not the Cheetos. Ow. There you go, the big boot. Finally. Finally, we're getting somewhere with this shit.
There you go. <laughs> yeah, there's no sound effect for those. Ow. Sound effect for what? What the hell? What the hell was that? The throwing objects. What do you mean? Hold on. That's weird because I tested them earlier. Ow. fix it next stream <laughs> because right now it's a little late holy shit snake eyes fuck off No sound. Ow. I recover stamina. <laughs> there you go, finally. Come on, this has to be it. Were they working earlier in the stream? No? Taking this for what it is, though, this is supremely awkward. Find out what's inside the Undertaker's urn. You were on drugs! You didn't accomplish anything! My brother in Christ! You were on mushrooms! You were on mushrooms, Luigi! My dude was as high as a kite, and he calls that an accomplishment. I guess we're dead, and this is heaven. If heaven's a dark, dirty boiler room, I'm going to reassess how I've been living my life. It counts, Wait, sort of. So, did all of that really just happen? I mean, who knows what kind of chemicals we could have been exposed to in here. You were exposed to all of them! Some of the stuff I think I saw. <coughs> What? I think there's our answer. <laughs> yep, it counts. Well, look inside it then. Look inside the urn and actually see what's in there. As far as I'm concerned, being on mushrooms doesn't do anything. It's Paul Heyman. Answer it. Uh, hey, Paul? Hey, don't hey, Paul me. I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last hour. My private investigator was there to meet you, and you were nowhere in sight. Private investigator? Wait, I'm sorry, did, man. I was fucking Shango getting on that ratchet and dank. Papa Shango? No, I didn't arrange for a meeting with Papa Shango. I'm, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure what's going on. Hey. Do you want expert help, yes or no? 
turns out we are no longer in need of his services. Thanks. I, well, look, you at least need to reimburse me for his time. And his hourly rate is not cheap. He is, I assure you, uh, the finest What's that? So you're breaking up. Sorry. All right, cool. <laughs> well, uh, we did it. Cool. We did the thing. We did the absolute thing. And, uh, you know, we got... We got high off of uh, Papa Shango's big smoke, and uh, we saw some shit, and we saved the day, I think. <laughs> Chat, I don't think we have any choice but to end it there. <laughs> we don't have any choice but to end it. First, we gotta see all this. Entire week has gone by. I'm still waiting on reimbursement for the private investigator I hired that you so inconsiderately stood up. I don't want a text or a phone call or an excuse. I just want my money now. Stream has peaked. It really has. So you know what? We gotta, we gotta stop while the going's good. But first, I need to read my DMs. I respect what you're doing. Hey, yes. Hothead. Fuck off. Yeah, I got some weird messages from you the other night. You sounded pretty out of it. I hope you're okay. I got some of that, I got some of that kush, my man. Stream, Stevis Peak. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I just want to complete this game now. <laughs> We're so fucking back, baby. This was so fun. Uh, this was so much fun. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me this evening. Uh, this game still kind of sucks, but we have entered the enjoyable realm of sucking, right? Like, we have officially entered the realm of sucking and where it's actually fun, you know? And I'm here for it. And apparently, at least based on what I have heard about this game, we will be seeing more of that weirdness to come. So yeah, uh, once again, thank you all very much. We're gonna raid out to someone. We're we're probably gonna raid out to Creep Show, but uh, what is Creep Show playing right now? <laughs> Figure it out here quick because I want to get some food. Wait, is is Darren playing still? Are they still doing a thing? Yes, they are still doing a thing. Let's let's surprise them. The big old raid chat. <laughs> uh, my friend uh, Darius Lappin. They are a very very fun person. Right now they're playing plat rather a uh, plateau games chat and friends. <laughs> Hello, giraffe rig. Been a while since I've seen you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. We're going to raid out to them. Uh, thank you all very much once again. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting up a throne page here soon to help fund some of my shit. Uh, like... <laughs> sorry, like uh, new parts for my second PC. Um, a new monitor for that PC. A Stream Deck uh, Deluxe. Uh, probably a... Probably the full version of uh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, these are all things that I would probably buy, like like eventually or at least I would kind of save for but uh, the throne page is uh, more just to kind of help me move that process along if you so want to so I will be making that and um, I will be linking it uh, no one is either uh, no one has to uh, put anything towards it but um, it's more of a thing where uh, where it's like hey um, if you want things on the stream to sort of you know uh, get a bit fancier then then you can help me get there a little quicker like for the second pc i have a lot of ideas like uh like um xcom 2 with uh followers and <laughs> and subs uh crusader kings 3 but we found long boy land uh uh planet zoo a, a giraffe zoo versus a monkey zoo etc etc these are all kind of things i've been thinking of and kind of jotting down over time and uh I really think that, like, a second PC would really help with that. So, 
I will be putting parts for that in the throne uh, going forward. Uh, but I will be sort of uh, doing that uh, this weekend. Um, along with that, we have a Discord. We have a Discord, and we're watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 2 in there right now. We are almost done with it. We will be done with it next Wednesday. Uh, it has been a blast so far. I've been loving every second of, uh, of watching this show again after so much time. Um, and I really hope that, like, you guys fucking join us at some point, because it is a highlight of my week every single time. So, yeah. Um, along with that, uh, the Twitch emotes will, will go on a better, uh, TTV here soon, etc., etc. So, yeah, uh, we will raid out to, uh, Darren here real quick. And I'm not gonna go and get high off of Papa Shango's smoke. Instead, I'm gonna go and get some food because I've not had food yet today. Or rather, I've not had, like... <coughs> sorry, a dinner yet today. I've had a... I've had a smoothie. I've had my lunch, and that's really it today. So I'm gonna go rectify that, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So yeah. Uh... The raid message. Let's fucking do the raid message. There you are. Long boy club, rather long boy club love. Uh, put that in uh, in uh, Darren's chat, and I'll see you all on Saturday for WrestleQuest, our new RPG playthrough. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, it's a game that I've been wanting to play ever since it was announced, and hopefully you'll join us for that. I'll see you Saturday. Until then, everyone, I have been Giraffe Stev, the president of the Long Boy Club. Uh, join the uh, Discord, follow my shit. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember when you are in the Long Boy Club, you're in it for life! Or life. Or fucking life. I will see you all Saturday. Bye!